Breaking news, my wonderful people, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu gets his reply after he threatened the whole of Southeast. You have lost Igbo support over comments. SGRG tells Tinubu, you know, uh, Tinubu was in um, one of the Southeast states and what he said was quite shocking, to be quite candid. What he said was quite shocking. Tinubu told Nigerians that, you know, um, you know, told Nigerians that if the Igbos do not support him, they will not have anything. Okay, they will not have anything. He said because uh, they will just be doing their work and nobody will pay attention to them. They will just be, you know, contributing to society and there will be nothing for them to show, you know, to show that, you know, they, they, they are making any impact or anybody appreciates them. In fact, after he said what he said, it, it, it goes to tell us, you know, how terrible things really are and what we must do to ensure that, you know, we do not allow the same thing over and over again. You know, so this is what is happening. This is what is going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. You have lost evil support over comment. S E R G tells Tinubu, the Pan Igbo Social Political Pr Pressure Group, Southeast Revive Group, S E R G has knocked Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu over recent comment purposely against Igbos, saying the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate has all, all already lost the support of Indigos in the forthcoming general election. S-E-R-G described the soaked sliced bread statement by Tinubu as taking deep-seated hatred for the Igbos. The pan Igbo Social Political Pressure Group, Southeast Revival Group, has knocked Ashiwaju and made Bola Tinubu. You have lost our support already. They described the soaked bread statement as a deep sense of hate for the Igbos, mm -hmm. adding... So, I mean... It's 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 um, he has already lost our vote already. He has lost it. The statement yesterday by the national president, Chief Willie Eziogo, quoted the presidential flag bearer saying, "Until Bola Ahmed Tinubu become president of Nigeria, you will not give. We will not give you what will not give you what you deserve, but a soak slice of bread." The statement reads, "The insinuation that Igbos will languish in in." Longer marginalization unless Tinubu becomes president is an acknowledgement that the APC deliberately shunned out the Southeast region since 2015. Bola Ahmed Tinubu's comment represents a refreshed version of President Muhammad Buhari's comment that he will not treat the Southeast equally with the North that voted for him. This comment by the APC presidential candidate are an expression of the party's dismay for the Southeast region. Recall that several sources have revealed that in build up to the APC presidential primary election, Bola Ahmed Tinubu as an aspirant by Southeast South is delegate of his party, saying campaign in the Southeast was a waste of his time. True to his words, he never wasted his time reaching out to his party delegates in the region, yet they voted massively for him, either by hook or by crook. The Southeast is really a waste of his time. The SEROG noted further, he is, t he is talking about this regards for the Southeast too far. When he's, anoint when he's anointed Governor Babajide Rajesh Fashola, deported Igbos from, I from Lagos State and, and dumped them at the Onicha Bridge head in the middle of the night, where Ashiwaju Bola met Tinubu. Where was Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu when his Ola and Oba of Benin threatened Igbo would drown in the lagoon if they vote against his preferred candidate? Where was Bola Ahmed Tinubu's voice as a Democrat? Tinubu's presidency will be a disaster as he has continued to exhibit distinguishing characteristics of only a civil dictator as always a religious by god masquerading as a liberal muslim his choice of a muslim running mate is a deliberate expression of his real self as having no regards for christians and now he blows the final whistle that signals the climax of his hate for the southeast region we also monitor the reporting 
indicating that Bola made Tinubu hate for the South is also rub off on traditional in institutions as some highly embarrassed Enugu traditional leaders led by state chairman of traditional rulers council Igwe Lawrence were snubbed, disrespected, insulted by APC presidential candidate after waiting several hours for his arrival. Truly, Tinubu openly snub an Oba. In, can Tinubu openly snub an Oba in the south, west, or an Emir in the north? This is who Tinubu really is. So you people just realize, right? You people just realize. Well, uh, they don't just break. I think that is the issue. It's just becoming a dawn. Uh, matter is just uh, dawning on you that, um, you know, uh, whenever you make your bed, you will surely lie on it the same way you have, uh, you have, uh, you have uh, put it down. So it is what it is. And every single person, you know, must ensure that uh, we are doing everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that we are not cast down. We do not allow the same thing to hold us down again and again. Every single one of us must ensure and must realize that every single time we leave our ourselves to we expose ourselves to those who have no iota of concern for us we we neglect the, the opportunity of truly making a headway so nigerians it is upon you and i to ensure that we rise up it is upon you and i to ensure that we do not allow the same thing to hold us down every single person who is coming up to say they want to uh they want this or they want that have you really considered them have you seen why they want this change have you seen why have you noticed said that some of them have other interests you know so because we must understand we must know who we are working with and why things are the way they are and unless we begin to understand those areas and know what is going on we may not be truly able to harness and to be able truly you know to sincerely you know open up on those regards and make a headway for whatever is what remember that every single one of us okay must speak out and do not allow the same thing to hold us back nigerians every single one of us have got a part to play every single one of us have got a part to play yeah, imagine you go to the southeast and you are telling the people that uh, they don't have they, they, they're not rich eh? who are they eh, blah 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 and you think you can just walk away with it because you're a presidential candidate you know, those in the South is really seem to have forgotten who they are. And when the purpose of a thing is not known, my sweetheart, abuse is, in, is, in, you know, is inevitable because you don't even know the thing, you know. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Tinubu openly disregard the whole of the South is, oh, what a dilemma. Ah, God have mercy on us. Bye for now.